All right, it's been a long time. I'm just looking at my channel now and I think it's been, it's been a few months. But that's how long it takes to get parts of these machines, unfortunately. Um, and also I've just been busy. So anyway, we're back. Um, give you a quick look at what we've been doing. So you'll notice a lot of things. I've got these brackets made to hold the steam boiler. And I've started bending up my own copper because I couldn't find anyone who actually sold uh, this copper with the fittings ready to go. So I've been buying these flare fittings just from my local plumbing supply shop. Um, I already had a pipe bender. I bought a pipe flarer, uh, which is that tool there. Uh, I bought a deburrer, which is very important because you can't flare, I'll show you what I mean. You can't flare the copper without deburring it first. If you do, a bit tricky to see here, but it's a very ugly flare and it won't seal. So this is just my practice piece, practice bending, practice flaring, just mucked around a bit with that one. Um, but yeah, so you just buy the copper, excuse me, buy the copper in, in lengths like this. This is annealed copper, so it's a bit softer, a bit easier to work with. Um, and yeah, that's what you do. So measure it up, cut it, uh, deburr it on the inside and the outside, put the fittings on first, then flare it, then bend it. Um, so yeah, actually a lot has happened since I last posted. Um, I've lifted the brew boiler up with some blocks. Uh, we've started making these copper pipes. Um, I just did a bit of laying around, laying out, sorry, some layouts. Um, it's a bit tricky. There's not a lot of room. So getting these pipes bent up accordingly was, was tricky. Not easy. This one's easy. Heaps of room here. Um, not perfectly straight, but it's functional. So, um, yeah, so this is obviously going to be for the hot water. I'm going to work out some, some uh, clearance issues here. I'm probably going to face it that way and tee off it, or put an elbow on it. Um, but yeah, so I'm using a Seneso hot water spout. Uh, has a 1 8 MPT end on it normally. Not a great thread to to use for this sort of stuff. It just doesn't really work with all the BSV fittings from the Italian stuff. So I've just put a BSV adapter on it. I'm going to have that coming out here somewhere. I'm not sure how far down I'll mount it, but functional height. Probably, probably a similar height to the actual group head. So it looks, that'll look nice, I think. Get that in there, I'll probably bend that up. And then tee off that, another one of these fittings from this to this. We'll work it out, we'll get there. Um, obviously element goes in here, a piece I've been waiting on, the heat exchange tube, this bugger right here. Uh, that's finally shipped from uh, La Mazzocco, Australia, it's taken months to get. And I mean months, it's been a few months now, um, but it's, it's on its way. Um, and yeah, so just a quick update, I guess. Um, sorry, I've been MIA, but like I said, I've been busy, busy um, working to pay for these parts. Um, but yeah, also, yeah, punched a big hole in the front for the new dual manometer. Used to be a much smaller gauge, used to be this one here. So, went the double, much nicer. Uh, we punched some holes in the front of the machine for the um, GS3 steam and hot water taps. Should look nice, nice and symmetrical. Um, and that's about it. Just waiting on the delivery of these parts and then I think we're good to go. Uh, still need to sort out the auto fill function so I'll probably just buy one 
buy a generic unit from a, a machine that um, looks universal enough and just make that work. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Sorry it's taken so long, but yeah, these things, these things take time when you're, it's not your full-time job. But we'll get there. I think it looks pretty cool now. It's starting to come together. Thanks guys.